The future of the royal family is dependent on public engagement and working royals to be seen doing things, a royal historian has claimed, as Prince Charles faces a crisis regarding the number of royals available for duties. As part of his plans for a slimmed-down monarchy, the Prince of Wales had focused on a core set of royals which included his sons and daughters-in-law, but Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's departure has thrown that plan into jeopardy. Several patronages, including Prince Philip's military appointments, are yet to be redistributed, and two councillor of state positions are currently available. This has sparked conversations that the future king's plans to reduce the royal family could be put on halt, with royal historian Ed Owens telling the Mail Plus Palace Confidential podcast, there are several reasons why Charles has sought to begin the downsizing of the monarchy. That's because there are people like his brother for example, who are liabilities that raise questions over the operation of the monarchy, can threaten to bring it into disrepute. He would rather have had it revolved around that core set of royals, originally his two trusty lieutenants William and Harry. Unfortunately, since Harry and Meghan's departure, it has kind of thrown that plan into jeopardy. There will be a rethinking and we've seen this with the Wessexes for example, they've been drafted in to undertake new royal duties. You have to think that the future of the monarchy needs people to be doing things, to be engaging with communities, to be investing and overseeing those events. So they are going to have to call on other people, I'm sure of, under the royal constitution, four councillor of states are elected to help the queen continue with royal duties if she were incapacitated for some reason, due to illness or a tour overseas. Prince Charles, Prince William, Prince Harry and Prince Andrew are all currently listed in the position. However, within the last two years, the Duke of York has stepped down from royal duties due to his ongoing lawsuit in the US, and the Duke of Sussex is no longer domiciled in the UK, meaning he is no longer eligible for the role. Current candidates for the two positions include Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, and Princess Anne. As next in line to the throne after her father, Princess Beatrice has also been named as a potential candidate, despite not being registered as a working member of the royal family. The Prince of Wales has made clear his intentions to slim down the monarchy since the tens, in a bid to boost their popularity with the public and modernize the establishment. He reportedly wishes to reduce the number of working royals dependent on the sovereign grant and open certain royal residences to the public. His plans are to focus the monarchy on the direct line of succession, which would mainly consist of himself, Camilla, and Prince William's family. Both Harry and Meghan would have had leading roles but opted to step down from their roles as working royals due to the pressures of public scrutiny and an internal rift with Buckingham Palace. Despite Charles' plans, certain royals have raised their profiles in recent years, including Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex. The two are considered two of the most reliable members of the family, with Edward set to take the Duke of Edinburgh title once Charles ascends to the throne.